Hello and welcome back friends to another video tutorial from Shomu's Biology and here we want to talk about the easiest way to remember cell signaling pathways means uh, the best and fast possible way to remember any complicated cell signaling is just for you and actually uh, build a device a system which can help you to remember and recall cell signaling quite the easiest way so what is it I am calling it as a five fingers to remember concept or five finger concept of remembering cell signaling pathways and it is nothing but uh, to think about five fingers uh, so in this case it's your left uh, hand and you, you take the left hand and the palm uh, where all the writing is there right now you have five fingers right and in these five fingers uh, five important parameters of a cell signaling will be justified now whenever you're reading a cell signaling pathway these five parameters are the most important things for every single cell signaling pathway in this video i'm going to talk about the map kinase uh, pathway now map kinase pathway is probably one of the most important pathway of cell signaling and again we are going to recall map kinase pathway with the help of our five finger concept of cell signaling and the five finger concept we are also going to put the important parameters as per this picture shown here so what we intend to find obviously you need to know what map kinase pathway actually stands off that means the cellular function and we know map kinase pathway is obviously dealing with cellular growth and cellular living pathway remember that that's the most important thing now the second thing let's begin with the signaling molecule for the map kinase pathway and the signaling molecule always goes like growth factors like epidermal growth factor egf platelet derived growth factor pdgf vesicular endothelial growth factor vegf actually it's not vdgf it should be vegf anyway now the receptor the receptor for map kinase pathway always goes like uh, the receptor tyrosine kinase those are enzyme linked receptor the receptor itself is linked with uh, the kinase activity so that the receptor can phosphorylate other proteins inside the cell and that can initiate a cascade of cell signaling so the receptor here will be receptor tyrosine kinase type and specific name of the receptor will be EF, egfr fgfr uh, type okay uh, not G gpcr in this case uh, normally it's not gpcr but mostly egfr and fgfr why because you know if the signaling molecule is epidermal growth factor egf the receptor will be egfr epidermal growth factor receptor now if the signaling molecule is fibroblast growth factor or fgf then the receptor will be fibroblast growth factor receptor fgfr okay so now let's move on to the third important parameter that is cellular activators or second messengers the cellular activators used in map kinase pathway are this cascade of signaling and this is really important and really confusing to many of you uh, but uh, the easy way to remember is, is simply it goes like grb2 uh, which has a sos domain of the protein then there is a gef which is a uh, like gtp exchange factor that activates a most important uh, cellular protein known as RAS in case of map kinase pathway. So RAS protein is the most important component of a map kinase pathway. Once RAS gets activated, RAS activates RAF, RAF activates MAKE, MAKE activates ARC. Now in this case, this RAF, MAKE, and ARC they have also different names. RAF is known as map kinase kinase kinase, MAKE is known as map kinase kinase, and ARC is known as map kinase. That's why we call it map kinase pathway. But simply they have different names like uh, this JF, uh, RAF, RAS, RAF, MAKE, and arc okay uh, don't worry i have a mnemonic for you so that you can recall and remember the sequence of these names now let's move on to the fourth important parameter that is the transcription factor they are getting finally activated so that they can insert itself inside a nucleus and activate and, and allow the transcription of the target genes and the example here are the transcription factors like mic you know remember c mic so those mic proteins elk ets these are uh, the transcriptional factors actually involved in the map kinase pathway which are getting activated at the end of the map kinase pathway who are ready to go inside the nucleus and turn on the transcription of desired genes now what those desired genes will do once they are translated into respective proteins now the cellular effect done for our map kinase pathway or as a result of map kinase activation is cyclin synthesis uh, cell growth cell division so these are all linked with the cell growth and cell living pathways so if map kinase pathways are regulated in a cell that may turn a normal cell into a cancerous cell and the same thing applies for ras protein if the ras protein is mutated in a way that ras remains always activated that will also cause uh, the cell to turn cancerous 
Now, as I mentioned, I have a mnemonic for you to remember uh, this sequence of cellular activators quite easily, and that is this uh, this term, grab. Jeremy, if you need to know this name, grab Jeremy. Let's imagine Jeremy is a fugitive. You need to grab him. So grab Jeremy. This is an easy way to remember. Grab G R stand for the G R B two. Definitely, it's quite easy to recall. G R B two, and then Jeremy. You can see the capital letters G E stands for this gif. R stands for the ras. You know R A uh, stands for the ras. Uh, it also stands for the raf. So so Jeff ras raf. And then M E for Mick and E R for Ark. So that's how you can recall. Grab Jeremy means G R B two G E F Ras Raf Mick and Ark. That's how you can recall and remember the cellular activators signaling cascade of MAP kinase pathway. Now this is the big picture of the MAP kinase pathway. You can see the binding of the ligand and that crosses the cross phosphorylation of receptor tyrosine kinase that finally activates RAS throughout this help of uh, this GRB2 SOS and GEF. And once RAS gets activated, RAS activates RAF, RAF activates MAKE, MAKE activates ARC. And finally ARC signals all the transcription activators and transcription factors like ELK1, ETS1 or 2 and MIC. And then MIC will do the transcription of the desired genes. So that's that's how map kindness pathway works folks if you like this video please hit the like button put this video to many friends of yours so that they can get the benefit from this video because the exam is near and definitely subscribe to my channel if you find this video really helpful okay so thank you good night see you in the next video